with something that our foodies love. It is called the Evo. It is the best way to control flavor of food and control the oil that you're using. We have for you tonight the six ounce glass non aerosol oil sprayer. Very popular, 9,500 have been spoken for. It gives you the perfect dispensing without using aerosols of your oils, of your vinegars, of your soy sauces. So every bite of food tastes the same and the glass comes in colors for the first time that we're seeing. It's super cute and with glass it's high end, we keep it on the countertop. Yeah, you could bring this right to the table. You just said it, each trigger pull is only a quarter teaspoon and you know, Evo patented this trigger sprayer. It doesn't require any pumping, doesn't use any aerosols or chemicals and like you said, you know each trigger pull is a quarter teaspoon so you know how much you're using. But what I love about it is you get better coverage, less calories, less fat, but also better flavor. Awesome. Yeah. But I think yeah. you need to show everybody yeah. what a quarter teaspoon of oil sure. is and how okay. difficult it is to cover our food with that little bit of amount. So here's a quarter teaspoon, okay? So what do you do when you have your food? It could be vegetables, it could be meat. You go to pour it out of a bottle, right? So here I have a quarter teaspoon and I go to spread it. Now what happens? I don't get very far. And notice how I got maybe a part of a couple of pieces of broccoli. So now I take my bottle of oil. Now here I have measured eight more teaspoons. And when you pour out of a bottle, you'll notice that it's more of a heavy stream coming out of the bottle. So what does that mean? You get a lot of oil in small spaces. So here I have this whole tray of cauliflower. Here there's some oil, here there's not. So you keep pouring the oil and then you wind up using a ton of oil. Well, this eight and a quarter teaspoons here, I'm gonna show you how right next door by using our patented trigger sprayer, I can use a fraction of that. Now watch this here, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'll just do one more. That's one and three quarters teaspoon. This is eight and a quarter teaspoon. Wow. Look at how the cauliflower, I don't know if you can really catch that, is just such a light, Oh, you even, can see it. It's just a mm -hmm. light, even coat. It's just light, and that's what I'm talking about. Not only did I use less, Stacy, but I get that perfect spread of the oil, so it's, you get the flavor is much better, and you get less calories and less fat. Right, and every bite tastes the same. Exactly. Nothing gets soggy or over-oiled, what that's I right. love. Let me quick show you color choices in this. Again, 9,500 of our glass sprayers have been spoken for. Here's what you have in options. You have this beautiful blue. Looks like, you know, the Sia Cortez in that blue. Here is the OG, the original yellow. I like that. Next is the red, always very popular. And then we have it for you in the green. Notice these little sleeves in the front. We call them a little neckties. They come labeled with different types of oils like sesame oil or balsamic, a coconut oil, vegetable, canola. So you can put that onto the neck of your Evo sprayer so you always know what's inside. You also get the funnel so you can easily pour from your big bottle of olive oil or whatever you're pouring in into your Evo without spilling a drip. It's about six inches high. If you have an air fryer, the Evo is your best Friend. Yeah, you know what? If you wanted to put a little oil in your any, anything in your air fryer, you could not do it with a bottle of oil because it's that heavy stream. But with our patented trigger sprayer, watch this: one, two, three, four. That is a teaspoon of oil. Now I used this chili oil, so you can really see how it just lightly coats the fries, so you get that great flavor, but you use minimal amounts. That's what I love about it. Now. New Year, you're trying to count calories. Mm -hmm. How about you're making a salad? You want to get right in on your salad with some balsamic vinegar and oil. This is why I love having lots of these in the kitchen. You get close into the plate and you get this nice light coat. Now here's the thing. You just I can pull little half trigger pulls like that. You don't have to pull it all the way, but the one thing you want to make sure you do is you want to pull that trigger to engage that compression. There's a little compression chamber in there that allows you to spread it. Look at that. A teaspoon each gave you an incredible coverage. Now inside the trigger head without any pumping it preloads the oil that's that patented design and when you pull that trigger you know you're getting only a quarter teaspoon so you know how much you're using and what i love about it is you can either spray it in a wide horizontal fan pattern which we've been showing you so you get a lot of coverage okay or if you want to get a little tighter put it to that vertical aspect and that gives you a little more control okay awesome i have five of these at home because i have one for um, uh, canola oil and one for, um, I'm sorry, not canola, olive oil and one for coconut oil. Yeah. I have one for red uh, wine vinegar. I have one for my apple cider vinegar because I like to spray lightly with vinegars on my salad dressing. And I have one for soy sauce. Soy Just sauce. Just right there alone, Rick. Just right there alone. So that's a great point. So here, if you wanted to do a little bit of soy sauce, and again, soy is a great flavor, but you don't want to use a lot of it. I get real close to the plate when I'm doing something small like this, and I just give it little light pulls just like this. 
I'm not even that was like that was actually an eighth of a teaspoon each pull because I only pulled it halfway. But look at how I get that nice light coating of soy sauce on each wonton, so it's not drowning in it, but you have the flavor. Sushi rolls. Sushi rolls. It's perfect because dunking a sushi roll into a bowl of soy sauce overpowers the flavor of the delicate fish. You're 100 percent right. If like this salmon. If you're doing fish and you just want to season, if it's steaks and you just want to get a light coat of oil, you can use so little to get so far with it. I love it too because you can do a, like a truffle oil. Truffle oil on your popcorn. And do it over the popcorn. That's my favorite oh, snack. Truffle instead oil. Instead of butter, look at this. Truffle oil on almonds is really good too. I like that idea. You like it? You should try it. You're making me hungry, Try it with Stacey. your Evo. Sorry. Pick up more we're than gonna, one. <laughs> I can't wait to try something I know I'm trying later. Are you going to have some pistachio bars? I can't wait. Yay! Okay, let us know what color you want. Blue, yellow, red's very popular, or the green. It's the glass. It's under 20 bucks, and it's on two easy payments, which goes away at the end of the day. Rick will be back, though, with a beautiful cookware set from All Clad. This is the HA1 